Good morning, guys. Welcome. Right, let's go in. There's lots of green. What these sunflowers are looking beautiful. Dying down a bit now, though. Some flowers along here. Morning guys, just uh, here today, it's too hot to do very much but we've got to harvest a load of stuff. So I'll show you around the allotment and show you what we're going to harvest. Um, bit of bad news up here in the, the northeast. we've just gone past another allotment site that's uh, that's actually been on fire today. Uh, it's it's that hot, apparently there's, there's six uh, allotments gone up. Um, totally devastating. Um, mm. I'll post you some photographs at the end of the video but uh, yeah pretty horrendous yeah. Uh, it's a bit a bit hot up here okay I'll show you around right guys you can see everything's bone dry it's just bone dry even though I've been watering every couple of days uh, when I can um, potatoes they're all going over now even my main crop potatoes are going over Pulled a couple of lettuce up there, there yesterday because they had bolted. But even the stuff I'm putting in to replace them just it's too hot for them to catch up. Just kind of can't manage it. Weeds are loving it, like. But yeah, so we're probably gonna um, pull some of these potatoes today. They're a bit early, really, because uh, I didn't put them in until really late because the the beast from the east. Um, but yeah, we'll do some potatoes today. Beans, um, these are taking ages to climb. They've, they've took an absolute ages. And I'm not sure whether it's the weather, it's too too hot when I put them in or, or what, but they've just took ages to start to climb. They're only just starting to climb now. This time last year I was harvesting. Um, it's just, it's been that sort of year. They're uh, spring onions. We'll get some of them the day for, yeah. for dinner. Peas have they've done all right. These are all going to have to come out today. Uh, loads on there. Uh, getting them beans are, are just starting to climb. Mm. Strawberries are all done now. So I'm going to need to take runners off all of these. That bed's all crispy. Kale there. I'll show you the, the kale and the giant cabbage. This is what otter. That's doing all right. So that's my giant cabbage and my kale. Uh, I've spotted a few cabbage whites about the day, so I'm going to keep it wrapped up until I'm ready to harvest it. This is the same, needs to be harvested. Right, I'll show you what's happening in the greenhouse. Right, guys, just in the greenhouse, the little greenhouse, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, not showing up very well but it is in the greenhouse it's just about there so 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 20 about 28 degrees Celsius in the greenhouse at the minute and it's much cooler and it's, in and it's cooler in the greenhouse or this greenhouse than it is in outside to be honest so peppers and everything doing well um, these are actually uh, what are the Cape gooseberries, and I need I need to get them out. But peppers are doing doing really well. I potted up some of these bigger ones yesterday, or the day before, but they've got you know got peppers on them. So I need to tie these um, tomato plants and that up properly now. This is me, uh, a choker, the exploding cucumber. Um, again, it's just too hot. It's just not going cool. so, so this greenhouse, again, I mean, all the windows are open, doors open fully. Um, the tomatoes, 
Uh, they're doing surprisingly well with the, the watering system, to be honest. I've only come down every other day and just topped them up a little bit. But the self-watering system seems to be working. They're, they're thriving. They're now at, now at a position where really I can cut the tops off because I don't want them to get any bigger. Uh, I've done that on some of them. Some of them are reaching the, the, the top of the greenhouse. But they've got loads of uh, flowers and tomatoes starting to happen on them. These grapes. The grapes are amazing though. Gonna Absolutely amazing. Got loads of them. Yeah. Because remember last year well, we got one bunch. Yeah. Now I've got like 15, 20. And down more. And more. And more. So I'll show you this. These are my peppers. These are the ones I had in the other greenhouse. Now I don't know what's had them or whether it is actually when I've watered uh, and the leaves have burnt because it's been too hot. Um, but you see, the other peppers are the same. But it didn't seem to have harmed though. I mean, I've got peppers on them. You know, let me see them there. I think they've just been I think they might, I think they might be right, Nathan. Because they're crispy, like in certain spots. Yeah. On the edges. So we'll just have to watch that in future. But it's just been one of them years. Like these ones. Yeah. Doing alright, but. So I don't know if you remember, but I put a um, a new grapevine in about two weeks ago when I bought it from the garden centre, and it was up to this leaf, and it's now put on about two foot in two weeks. This one here is a Cape gooseberry. I just planted that in the other day from it, um, the other shed. Right, it's too hot in here. We have to go. Off, go. So guys, the, the fruit area. You can see these are the uh, pink berries. See so the sun. Pink berries there coming on. The apples. Absolutely amazing. Spotting apple. I've had to tie all that up because the, the fruit was too heavy for it. So it looks like it's going to be in this valley now. These ones. I don't know what these are called, but they're doing all right. I was going to ask you about some of these apples. But they, they were a bit wrinkly when I seen them two days ago, but they seem to have filled out, to be honest. Very true, you look good, Cage. Again, this apple, this is Valier. It's not as productive as the one outside and I think that's because it's not getting pollinated but it does have a few apples on. These are from the these because they've just Yeah we're gonna cut all these back today and uh and harvest them. Well as much as we can stand it out here because yeah. it is absolutely roasting. Raspberries starting to fruit up so we'll probably get some of them in the day. And we elephant garlic starting to go over, so I might pull some of that the day as well. Right, let's get there. Get where, oh, I'll show you this. So that is my pomegranates. Probably not going to come to anything, but we've got fruit on. But yeah, I'll do some of the elephant garlic in that the day. So we're going to crack on, just harvesting, and then we're going to damp down things uh, a little bit. Catches in a bit. Right, Nathan's going to do his first potato bucket. These are rockets, first bucket of the air. They didn't get an intel after the beast from the east, so. Looking all right so far. Not that good. Don't buy your knee, Nathan. No, no, buy your knee. Not that many. Mm. I expect 
there's a few more, but... Got it? What yeah. you got? Not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, well. Here you go. Right, second bucket. These are. What are they making? Sturly Desiris. Desiris. These are a red skinned. Still a little longer. Yeah. Oh god, that's some decent one. That one's a weird looking one. A lot of rock. Yeah. Right guys, I'll just show you what we've got. It's too hot to do anymore. Yeah. Got a bag of kale, a couple of bags of black currants and red currants, a couple of bags of peas, and that's what I have from today's two buckets of potatoes, one desiree and one rocket. Not impressed, but it's gonna be that sort of year, isn't it? Right, let's see you Nathan. Bye guys. See you later. See you later. Nathan just uh, collecting a few Logan berries. You can see them there. They're absolutely massive. Huge. And they've got a bit of a perfumey taste as well. When you uh, after you eat them. But you can see some of the size of some of them are huge. So it's just picking a few of them. And I'll just show you the elephant gala because I nearly forgot about that. Not that impressed to be honest. Um, okay, the size of normal garlic, that's it. That's not a bad one. That's the only one that's split. These are all whole cloves. Loads of uh, bulbils on. We'll sort them out, but I'm going to leave the rest till they till die right back and then see what I've got. But surprised they haven't split because they, they were under like two foot of snow at one stage during the year and um, when the beast from the east was here but we'll see 